Hi everybody, um, in this tutorial we will see how we can create a config file for our mobile app uh, and I'm going to use Ionic um, we can go to this page again for those who are not used to Ionic I just created a, a new project using Yannick and we are going to open the project, the new project using Visual Studio Code okay I'm going to open the new project and it called move to mobile and I call it config file. Okay, here it is. Okay, what we are going to do? Maybe you usually need to consume a uh, API, your own API. Uh, from your mobile application so we can if we are going to use a different providers for example let's say an out providers and login provider or for example feeds provider for example you can keep using uh, your endpoint multiple times let me explain this Let's say, for example, you can see I have my endpoints. I have my endpoints. Uh, one is pointing when I'm developing. One is pointing to my local local host. And when I'm going live or I'm going to production, I just change this value of production to through. Actually, it's going to use the API of my application. So, actually, what we are going to do is uh, create the config file. Uh, you just go here, right here, and create a new folder called the config. And then you just need to create a file. Um, which we will call config.ts and I'm going to use TypeScript to do it. Uh, let us start the project. Let's shift and then close. We're going to see config file. And you know, we're going to make ionic sir yeah on the project I already have a, one of my project one which is a uh, mobile um, this is actually the one that I'm actually using but I'm going to start a new project right here. This is a blank project, and what we just need is to create a config file and show you that how you can actually, uh, if you need multiple configurations like uh, endpoints or images link for your assets. Now I'm just going to create a new file and start writing support uh, config interface. So I'm going to create an interface right now. As I was telling you, what you just need to do is create a new folder inside of your application 
and you can define a uh, multiple endpoints uh, like this uh, so I just added this value just to do not have to change the URL of my endpoint every time that I need to and what I did was uh, create an interface for example and then we're going to start defining we're going to say it's a string and we're going to define the API endpoint and it's going to be a string also and images URL for example so the string and we're going to create um, we're going to create a constant constant a variable which is going to extend the our interface our application interface config uh, we start writing for const and we call it config. The type should be the same type of our uh, application config. Okay, and it's gonna have those values. Values of that name. Be, for example, my post API <laughs> and then we're gonna have uh, the AP and on my you gonna be like HTTP at my domain my domain dot com slash AP version 2 for example I don't know and also well, we can add the values that you actually need uh, I usually add more more values for example for a paper paper uh, to hold your paper keys and things like that, your paper app name, for example. But it depends on your on your needs actually. My domain that form uploads or accepts I don't know. It depends where you have those app those images. Store it on your application, and here it is. What you have to do next, and let the, let me let me tell you that we are using uh, Ionic version three in Angular Angular uh, four point four. So you can do you can't do the same if you are using Ionic version one, but you can apply the same. A procedure if you are using Ionic 2 or Ionic 3. What we have to do is go to app and uh, create what's good for example home. Yes, and if you, if you want to use the URL. Okay. 